Beam NG. The physics-based, ultra-detailed vehicle simulator has come a long way since its initial Steam release. Visual fidelity improvements, additional maps, vehicles, and so much more have been built upon over the past almost decade. Wow, has it really been that long? Oh, and the modding community has always been, and still is, absolutely incredible. No other game on the market offers what Beam does. It's a truly unique experience. It would be a sin though to not mention Assetto Corsa here, which is just as impressive in its own right. But the soft body physics in Beam are just so satisfying. I mean, who doesn't love the ability to create an endless amount of possible scenarios that all end with spectacular carnage? Beam isn't just about crashing though, right? Upon booting up the game for the first time in a long time, I was excited to see that career mode is now playable. It's grayed out on the main menu, but if you spam left click a bunch of times, you get the option to hop into the driver's seat and try it out. There's a nice little tutorial that walks you through the basics, and yes, those basics even include crashing, which puts my previous statement about the game not being about that particular activity under serious suspicion. After completing the tutorial, you get to choose your first car before being unleashed upon the game world. You can complete challenges to earn money and then spend that hard-earned cash to upgrade your car or even visit a dealership to buy a new one. Although I use the term new here loosely as that car might actually already have some serious mileage on it. The game mode shows serious potential and I'm sure I'm not alone in my excitement to see what's in store for it in the future. But I admit it. After cruising around safely in my career vehicle, trying my best to not get a scratch on it, I felt free roam begin to call out to me. The urge to hop into whatever vehicle I so desired and proceed to apply extreme g-forces to them by means of tree, boulder, other vehicle, or hell, just about anything, was just too strong to resist. Because, let's be honest, crashing in beam is just fun. After having never touched it before a couple of days ago, I had a lot of fun playing around with the camera paths tool. Enjoy. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Well, hopefully that satisfied your craving for folding, crushing, soft body deforming destruction. As I mentioned earlier, I'm really just starting to learn the end game camera tool and have been having a lot of fun doing so. This is a bit different than my usual content, but I thought it might be kind of fun to mix things up a little. Let me know down below if you'd like to see more BeamNG in the future. This is Jarbo Gaming. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.